Hey guys, Peter here to do an album review. Today I'm here to tell you about the latest from Cryptosis, Bionic Swarm, out March 26 on Century Media Records. The album has 10 tracks, 37 minutes in length. These guys are from the Netherlands, they're a prog thrash metal band, and perhaps you've known them as Distillator. They released two full-length records under that name. They've rebranded, they've had a change in sound, of change in approach, and now they're coming out with their debut record under the brand new name Cryptosis. Now this album is a concept record that talks about this dystopian future where technology has taken control of humanity. I really like the theme, I really like the idea, it matches the sound, it matches this record to perfection. Now once you get into the album, you realize that this is an album that has a very linear, uh, simple path if you will. It takes you from the first song all the way to the last song uh, in, in a very smooth way with smooth transitions. It's a record that's not abrupt throughout any single point of its construction. It allows the tracks to become very cohesive, to kind of blend one into the other, and you don't really feel like you break or that there's a break between them. The transitions are nice, they're smooth, and allow the overall playability of the record to be continuous and to be the best that it could be within an album that has this sort of format, that has this sort of concept. I also like the fact that there are two intro tracks when you look at this album as having side A and side B. Those two intro tracks really offer you a glimpse into the atmosphere of the record, into the concept of the album, and use you into the album, and ease you into the overall experience. I like the fact that they put one on the beginning of side A, like I said, if you're dividing the album into two sides, and one at the beginning of side B. It allows the album to stay cohesive, to stay coherent, balanced in its approach, not deviating from that path, bringing the whole record together as one, and not just a construction based on individuality of its tracks. Now, as far as the soundscape goes, the record has at its baseline thrash metal. That is the essence of this record. Very gritty, very raw sounding thrash metal. The whole album feels like it was recorded live. It has that live essence to it, so it brings the aggression to the forefront because of how gritty it is in its experience. Now, it morphs and it takes you in different paths depending on the influences that come in into the tracks, either be prog or technical death metal. Those influences are there and they really dictate a little bit more of how evolved the tracks become. But the essence of the sound is that raw, gritty thrash metal sound that feels, like I said, like a live recording. Now, deep within that sound experience, deep within the record, there are three elements that drive the overall motor, that drive the overall machine that becomes Bionic Swarm, and that is the drums, guitars, and vocals. I love the drums on this album. There was not one single song on this record that I didn't enjoy what the drums had to offer. They always felt very consistent, they always felt very balanced. Understanding exactly what the tracks needed and giving them the strength, the power, the aggression that they called for and staying consistent across every single song from that perspective. I also like the sound that they have. It adds thickness to the overall experience. It adds volume and makes the sound a little bit richer. Now, the guitars are very gritty, very raw. They really push the envelope as far as that is concerned, but also melodic and also crisp at other times, depending on which angle they're coming at you. When, when you look at the bare bones, when you look at the spinal cord of the soundscape and you hear that thrash metal sound permeating through uh, every single track on this album, you can feel a little bit more of that gritty approach, you can feel more of that raw uh, experience coming into the forefront. When the guitars start to deviate into the prog, into the technical side of the sound, the sound becomes a little bit more crisp, it becomes a little bit more linear, it becomes a little bit more well-defined. I really like that approach, I really like this balance between these two worlds. They were able to make them work and they were able to merge them and not really allow the songs to fall apart or feel like they were constructed with different pieces, even though that's kind of the essence of how the whole, uh, the whole track and the whole album came together. The last element is the vocals. I felt that they fit perfectly into this album. When you think of an album that has this sort of soundscape based itself on thrash metal, like I said, raw, gritty, sounding thrash metal, and then you have prog and technical elements coming into the mix, you have the overall sci-fi concept to deal with, you want the vocals that match the aggression, that match the story, that match the concept, match the overall soundscape. 
I really felt that they nailed it on this record across every single track. They were always there to provide aggression, they were always there to provide direction, to provide purpose, and really bring the energy that was built into the lyrics, all the darkness that was built into the lyrics, into the forefront, becoming a lot more visible, becoming a lot more noticeable to the listener. Overall, I really enjoy this record. I think this is a very interesting album for a band that's changing ever so slightly, if you will, or perhaps not as slightly at all, the direction in their sound, the direction in their approach. I would have liked to see a little bit more on the technical side and a little bit more on the prog side involved into this record. To me, this album was perhaps 80% thrash and then the other two elements had 20% of the overall soundscape. I would like to see the balance be a little bit more even. I would like to see more of a 50-50 split. I think they, they showed that they could do that. If you look at the solos on this record, they're outstanding and they definitely have a little bit more of the technical approach into them and they also have a little bit more of prog construction as far as the tracks are concerned. So I, I think they're taking the necessary steps in the evolution of the band in moving them into the next level. But this record, in my opinion, felt a little bit short as far as the prog and technical side is concerned. I want it to go a little bit bigger, a little bit better, a little bit more defined so you can really understand where one ends and where the other one starts. And I felt that at times things became a little bit murky. Now as far as tracks are concerned, I want to start off with Death Technology. The drums and guitars on this song are absolutely ferocious. The guitars have a very gritty sound to them and at times they add great atmosphere to the overall experience of the track. The vocals push the aggression into the forefront. The song becomes very dynamic, very fluid. It has ups and downs, not abrupt ups and downs, but enough to change the direction, enough to change the eyesight of the listener, which is really important. The solo on this track is awesome, outstanding, really understanding the melody that the track has, the direction of the track, and igniting that direction and igniting that melody in it. I love the, the speed that it has, I love the, the sound that it has, the execution, really enhances the beauty and the quality of the song all around. Conjuring the Egoist, a really interesting track, a track that has a very interesting intro. I really love the intro because it builds the song, it gives you a sense of atmosphere, it, it really works as its own interlude, if you will. Pushing the thrash sound to the forefront, becoming very noticeable the moment things get going, they really start to move and that thrash sound permeates throughout the whole track, keeping things aggressive and making the song move at a very nice tempo. The track slows down in the chorus, becoming almost a, a track that has two different perspectives. The verses are a lot more aggressive, a lot more dynamic, and then the chorus is a lot more subdued, a lot more melodic. And the change is very noticeable. It's not subtle. It's not like you merge from one into the other and you don't realize you're in one until halfway through it. No, it's very noticeable. There's a clear break, a clear cut between them, allowing this track to have incredible peaks and really deep, deep valleys. But that's what makes this song very dynamic and very interesting. Last but not least, Game of Souls. The drums, outstanding on this track. I mean, I could say that about every single song, but I felt that on this track, the drums really pushed themselves to the forefront, becoming the main aggressor, the main mover and shaker, as far as the construction, as far as the delivery, as far as the soundscape is concerned. The guitars help the drums push the song forward. They help the drums move the sound forward, but the heaviness that you get out of the drums is very consistent and it's undeniable from beginning all the way to the end. The, guitar, the guitars help it, so the song almost becomes really dependable on these two elements and how they can coexist from beginning to end without really crossing paths. They're working on parallel lanes, working towards the same goal, towards the same end result, and that is what makes this song as powerful as it is. The direction that both elements give it allow the song to become bigger, to have this big wall of sound that comes at you on every single turn. The solos are outstanding, they really brighten up the track, they almost kick in into a different gear, make the song feel even bigger, even brighter, even heavier at times. I like the overall dynamic of the track, I like how it's constructed, and I like the power that these two elements side by side provide to the song. This is it, this is Cryptosis with Bionic Swarm, out March 26 on Century Media. Let me know your thoughts on the band, on the album, use the comment section below, I'll be reading those and getting back to you. Take care guys.